Hi, I'm going to show, I'm Ruth Ray, and I'm going to show how to make uh, resin paper and um, how to make wire forms. So um, when you mix resin, um, you, it's a 50-50 mix, so you're going to do equal parts. Um, with the plunger, you're just going to push it down, and it comes out in equal parts. Then you're going to mix the resin for two minutes, just kind of in a folding fashion. Just so it gets, this is so it will start to activate the process. I was taught also while you're in this stage to mix it two minutes and then to pour it in a separate container and mix it a little bit more so that any minuscule bits of residue on the outside of the container don't contaminate it. Do you ever have a problem with that? No. You go two minutes and then you're ready to roll. No, okay. I actually go one minute. But okay. Yeah. Okay. But we're going to do two minutes. But for I'm not even. Yeah. I. Yeah. One minute is sufficient. But you know, you are whipping it. And yep. you are coming down into those yep. corners, and so you're making yeah. sure that it is equally be mixed. Fine. So I would say yes, for your first time doing it, that's why you would need to do it for a little longer. Mixing it and pouring into another residue container. Is that excessive? Okay. It is yeah. excessive. And the ice resin really works. It's very easy resin to use. Mm -hmm. And so after you've mixed it up, to make a resin paper, and I'm, I don't have it with me, but you would use a trash bag to lay it on because it's um, after it dries it will pull off but I don't have that so I'm using tissue paper but um, if you were actually putting the paper onto the tissue paper it would adhere to it so just know that that that's a possibility I will take off my massively huge ring <laughs> Do you always use rubber gloves? I like to use the rubber it? gloves because I don't like my hands getting like messy and sticky. And then just with a foam brush because everything that you use that the resin comes in contact is trash after. You can't clean it up. So after you do that, so this would be on a trash bag, you're just going to come in and you're going to coat both sides of the paper. like that. <laughs> this would be the first side and then you're going to flip it over and then you're going to do the second side. Oh, there's two pieces there. We're not going to worry about that. So after that is on there, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the um, wire form and so all you're going to do to do the wire form get the wire this is a, a 19 gauge steel wire you could use any kind of wire that you like All you're gonna do to make a little form is you're just gonna bend it in half. Curve it. I'm gonna do like a leaf form Anything, right here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Any kind of form you want. You could do circles. Here do you right here. And how important is it that it's exactly flat? This is what I'm gonna show you. Right here. Okay, that's important, right? So now I'm gonna cut this little piece off. Yeah, can I grab that? Let me take a still while you're cutting that. So now, if you touch this, you're gonna see that this is round. And what we're gonna do is with a hammer. We are going to flatten it, Good. and that's going to give it more surface contact onto the paper. So now I'm just going to come in with the hammer. You see how it's flat now? Hammer for surface contact. Yeah, it's my hammer buddy over there. Okay, so then I'm just going to, on the paper that I've already put the resin on both sides, I'm just going to come in here, and I'm just going to pour that into the form like that. It's going to need to sit 24 hours mm -hmm. and then at that point it's going to look like this and then um, you Did just you intentionally lift the, um, have your tail up for now? Yeah because if you left it down then it's going to get the resin on it okay uh -huh. so um, the tails kind of need to come up just out of the way for a and then while. that's the way you can attach it yeah. to something else yep. like this these could just little be little wings and You'll so they're not attached uh -huh. and then all you're going to do is you're just going to come in here you could do it with scissors. I just happen to have these with me. You don't have to have the snips. And you just see this paper has been doubled up as well. So if you wanted to have it be more translucent, you can just put one piece of paper in there. And you can even use tissue paper. So you could just go in there and clean it up like mm -hmm. this. And the next thing, yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Oops. And you can make really cool jewelry. Yeah. You can use have it to Have you ever anything. done a, um, uh, working with kids with this? Um, with the resin? Yeah, um, with re resin forms. 
you could have them fill bezels and such. Yeah. They okay. wouldn't necessarily need to come I, in contact with the resin either. They could make the forms and then pour after. But be doing a free form wire. Whenever I do, whenever I teach classes or workshops, especially with the resin paper, since it's a 24 hour time for it to cure, I um, will make the resin paper for them to use and I show people how to do it. I don't, um, yeah. again, when I work, I would be working like on like a plastic bag, but you don't have to use tissue paper. Now I'm going to show you the next thing that you can do with the resin paper. After it's cured, after 24 hours, you can um, tint it with the stays on ink. And um, the other thing, and I, I left it in my bag and I'm not going to go and grab it right now, is um, with the alcohol inks, it'll help make it move around because you only have a few minutes mm -hmm. that you can move the stays on ink around before it becomes permanent. And if you use the alcohol inks, it helps you move it around so you can get more like a stained glass look. But again, with, um, where did that little wire form go? The one you just cut? Yeah. Um, Do we see it? Oh, Thank you. <laughs> it is hiding for, but you can also come in here and tint this as well. Uh, the other thing that you can do with the resin beforehand, you could paint the papers before if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. just up to you. Um, you're getting just a different look. Just so you can just go in there and you can tint it. So that's yeah. how you would do those. Yeah. The other cool thing that you can do with the resin paper is you can sew on it. Like in these samples here, um, mm -hmm. I've actually just sewn on directly so and onto it and, and stable yeah. whatever so I mean it, it has lots of art applications not just jewelry applications yeah. you can do lots of different things with the resin so it's a really fun thing to play around with there's just so many different things you can do so that's it that is all the